Asif Mahmood, a physician, Democrat, and immigrant from Pakistan, campaigns door to door in this neighborhood near Los Angeles. The most important, the most compelling reason for me to stay in America is freedom. And that's what I'm fighting for freedom. It is, could be freedom of reproductive rights, it could be freedom of choice, it could be free voting. Mahmoud condemns the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade, the 1973 ruling that had affirmed the right of women to an abortion. A former campaign strategist says it's a theme for Democrats. Nationally, the midterm is a struggle for definition. Uh, the Democrats want people to think as they go into that polling place about reproductive rights and about the threats to democracy. It's a message that voter Kevin Ingram found appealing. I believe that women or anybody should have a choice. What's next, he asks. The Supreme Court, with its conservative majority, reversing civil rights? Republicans describe Mahmoud as a leftist, as in this ad from his opponent, South Korean-born U.S. Representative Young Kim. Mahmoud wants to raise income taxes, and Mahmoud's socialist health care scheme would worsen inflation and double our taxes. Analyst Trump sees Republicans such as Kim highlighting inflation, uh, the price of gas, uh, crime. The Republican Congresswoman represents California's 39th district and is running against Mahmoud in the redrawn 40th district, which straddles three California counties. Her message centers on the economy, which national polls list as a top concern of voters. She also wants less government regulation, fewer wildfires and efficient forest management, which she called for at a recent roundtable with firefighting officials. Kim turned down an interview request, but her campaign says she's working to help veterans and to lower taxes. Mahmoud tells voters he'll fight inflation and cut taxes for the middle class. Both highlight immigration, Kim stressing border security and Mahmoud immigration reform. It's about problem solving, says the physician. Half of my patients most likely were Republican and half were Democrat. There was not a one single incident I asked anybody which party you belong to. People come in, walk in, we talk about the problem, discuss it, find the solution. Through television ads and for Mahmoud through canvassing door to door, the candidates make their appeals. Republicans outnumber Democrats by 5% in the district, and a Kim campaign poll claims an even bigger lead among likely voters. But Democrat Joe Biden would have narrowly won here had the district's current boundaries been in place in the last presidential race. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.